YouTubers, gamers, PC viewers, reviewers, and any general public that just clicked on this link because they were too bored. Oh, they were too cheap. <laughs> this is Ash. Welcome to my first ever video YouTube broadcasting. Um, so I'm a novice, so please be gentle in your comments. Right, I am a self-professed PC IT repair technician, both software and hardware. I dabble in Windows and Linux based operating systems like Ubuntu. Now, today, through my years of experience of building and repairing PCs, desktops, laptops, and uh, pads, notepads, whatever you want to call that, um, I want to give you guys a uh, an alternative to buying uh, the cheapest PC you can find. This is for those absolute beginners and those absolute tight budget people who cannot spend even one more penny so I'm here today going to offer you a fully functional desktop PC that you can use for all your general daily tasks such as YouTubing in HD uh, downloading music videos emailing web browsing uh, word processing PowerPoint Excel and many 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 more for about I think it's 110 pounds that's all you're gonna spend right to give a comparison, sorry, should have introduced myself. My name is Ash. I live in London. I'm not a Londoner. You can tell by the accent. Just been living here for the past 15 years. Um, um, right, let's get do it. Right. So, um, the cheapest PC you can find, you can buy on PC World, with no operating software, is a Packard Bell iMedia S2185 barebone desktop PC for 179 pounds. This PC is currently out of stock as of today, 4th of November 2014, but it was retailing for 179 pounds. And you get an AMD dual core E12500 APU. An APU means it has a CPU processor and a graphics card, both on one chip, which is integrated. Um, it has no operating soft. Uh, sorry, no operating system, so no Windows or no Ubuntu, nothing. And it has a hard drive of 500 gigabyte of capacity, decent storage, and has RAM memory of 4 gigabyte. It comes with no peripherals such as keyboard, mouse, and monitor. Now, so 179 pounds. Next on the list, um, next uh, website you can check is Argus. If you want to buy something from Argus at 159 pounds 99. Again, this PC is today out of stock. But it was the cheapest I could find. It is a Zoo Storm 500 gigabyte storage, 4 gigabyte RAM, dual core desktop tower PC. It's an Intel-based uh, PC. Um, let's check the CPU is a G540 processor at 2.5 gigahertz with 4 gigabytes of RAM speed and 500 gigabytes of hard dr drive. It comes with no operating software as well, but it comes with a DVD optical drive. By the way, the Packard Bell, I think it does come with a DVD. Let's quickly check that. I can't find it. Um yes it comes with a DVD drive. Okay. So 179 pounds and 159 pounds 99. Let's see if we can beat that. I think we can beat that. And I have made a list here for you and the whole thing comes up to 115 pounds 92. So what I'm saying is basically you can buy this PC with no operating software or you can build the same PC minus two things, um, I'll link and explain, f for £115. If all you need is just to do general web browsing and daily tasks. Right, let's see. First thing on the list, uh, we're going to ebuy.com, which is one of my favorite sites to buy. By the way, eBay is not sponsoring me for this video. Maybe in the future I'll hook up with them. But for now, I'm just saying that for convenience, I've chosen eBay. But there's plenty of other websites like Amazon and uh, Aria or Novatech or CCL Online that you can buy uh, your components from. Okay, so first on the list is an APU. Uh, AMD Sempron 2650, 1.4 GHz of speed. This little uh, processor is an APU. It's not the cheapest one. Uh, it's just about over a pound more expensive than the cheapest, cheapest one. But I figured is this one's probably better value for money. Um, did, did I choose this one yet? Yeah. 265, that's correct. Uh, there's a reason why I chose, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, uh, the cheapest one is 2620. The, this one is 2795. But for this, you get a bit more extra. Uh, it's a dual core. And it comes on the AM1 platform, which is one of the newest platforms from AMD. 
uh, these processors are very low profile, low wattage at only 25 watts, and the motherboard also only 25 watts, so really low energy consumption. It's perfect for all your general uh, web browsing and daily tasks. Right, only at 27.95 today. Next on the list is and uh, the motherboard that we're going to co connect all the components on it has no bells and whistles it's a biostar am1 mh version 6.0 socket am1 it has for the output uh video it has vga which is your blue cable and hdmi which uh, carries both video and audio signal it does support six channel hd which means five point one surround um, you can upgrade um, a different uh, cpu onto the or apu a later date but it's not for major upgrades again uh, the uh, the watt consumption is only 25 watt it supports ddr3 memory it has two dim slots and supports memory between 800 and 1600 megahertz and it has two USB 3.0 port at the back and two USB 2.0 at the back amongst other stuff and it has all your other um, common peripherals connectors at the back it is a micro ATX form factor it does support Windows XP 7, 8 and 8.1 uh, and more which is don't tell you this will do just fine for this build next on the list we have the RAM which Believe me guys, for general use, for daily use, if you don't need to do anything else apart from daily normal use, web browsing, downloading, video, uh, uh, some not obviously not, not very big videos in 4K definition, but normal videos and uh, emailing, you only need 2GB of RAM, especially for this for this system that I've picked for you, for the current operating system that I'm going to pick for you and, and which comes free. It's an Ubuntu base, we'll get to that later. You only need 2GB, it's up to you if you want to add one more stick of 2GB because this motherboard actually supports a thing up to 16GB uh, but the, we're going for the absolute cheapest at the moment so only 2GB of Kingston Kingston, sorry, Kingston 2 gigabyte at 1600 megahertz. So it's not the uh, slower, it's actually quite decent speed, more than you would need for this particular build. And it's only written at 16 pounds. You want one more stick, just add another 16 pounds to the budget. Um, next on the list, we have the power supply. Um, I went with the cheap and cheerful Ace Black 120 millimeter fan and uh, total watt at 400. So this is the cheapest I could find. You can get better quality ones but they will bump the price up to minimum about 25 and above or actually just some lower not 80 plus rating at about 8 15 18 pounds but we're going for the cheapest absolute cheapest at the moment uh, it comes from ebay at 12 pounds 99 has all the connections you need for this particular build actually we should check it out uh, just to make sure it has uh, yeah, it has three SATA connectors and it has four Molex connectors, one floppy PP drive, you won't need that. And it's a 4-pin 12-volt connector and 20 plus 4-pin. So it has everything you need for this particular build. Next on the list is the case where you're going to house all your components. It doesn't look, uh, you know, great, but it looks okay. It's decent. And it's a Zenta computer case B138A. It, I believe it has no... A USB 3 at the front but that's not our problem we're not looking for that um, it should house all your components and as you can see all interior blacks not too bad for a £12.99 case and last but not least for storage I've chosen the 160 gigabyte uh, from Hitachi, Hitachi and it's a 2.5 uh, inch form factor at say that 2 at 500 uh, sorry 5400 rpm it's not the fastest nor the biggest drive but at 2549 you will not find something better for five pounds more you can get a 320 uh, gigabyte at 7200 rpm or for probably 10 pounds more at 35 pounds you will get a 7200 gigabyte at five uh, sorry 7200 rpm at at uh, 500 gigabyte, gigabyte storage so you can just add 10 pounds to this budget if you want more um, more uh, storage just give me one second of someone calling me right sorry about this guys um, I'm back so, okay anyway, like I was saying the um, hard drive is only 160 gigabyte um, the other one we picked from from the pre-built was 500 and uh, the um, RAM is only 2 gigabyte 
Um, and also it does not come with a DVD uh, rewriter. So you can pick up a better, more, um, sorry, a higher drive capacity at 500 gigabyte for about 35 pounds. So add 10 pounds for the hard drive, add 16 pounds for more RAM if you want, and add uh, 12 pounds, I think it's 12, 11 to 13 pounds actually, for the drive. So in total, 20 to uh, about, 22 was 20 and 16 or 38 pounds more so for 40 more pounds which will bump your price up to 155 pounds so still cheaper than you could actually buy these two pcs right okay anyway but like i said for the for, for your particular use if you just want daily use you do not need 500 gigabytes you do not need four gigabyte of ram okay right um for those absolute beginners we're going to use a uh, software for your operating system called Ubuntu. It's a Linux-based operating software. It has its advantages over Windows and it has its disadvantages over Windows. I am not a fanboy of either one. I use both. I have dual boot and I, ha I have uh, some, of some of my pieces. Some of them I have Ubuntu. Some of them I have Windows. Uh, I like them both. My personal pr preference is Ubuntu for two reasons. One, it's, ch it's free. <laughs> I like free. And it's more stable than Windows. However, there are compatibility problems with Ubuntu in terms of all the software and hardware companies do not make all drivers for Ubuntu. But it's not a deal breaker for me. I still prefer Ubuntu. It's a lot faster. It requires less hardware and less resources to run. For, for this particular build, you would need the 32-bit uh, version of Ubuntu 14.04 long-term support LTS I don't recommend the four the 64 bit uh, this is for machines for more than four gig uh, personally that's up to you to try uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description for those who don't know how to um, download and install uh, Ubuntu and I will put also a link in the description as to for those absolute beginners to how to build a BC and there you have it guys so the um, absolute cheapest PC you can build today the 4th of November 2014 for under 115 pounds sorry for 115 pounds and 92 so let's say un under 120 pounds I'm gonna remind you this does not come with any peripherals like mouse uh, keyboard and monitor I presume you may have these things but if you want me to do a build for the absolute minimum cost of a total PC including those peripherals please give me a shout and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to um, oh sorry uh, before I forget this is not for upgradability in the near future in mind this is for those people who have very tight budget and for the cheapest um, that th I will put uh, a different video for a better performance uh, computer than this to this one which will be in the price range of about 150 to maybe 175 pounds for the absolute cheapest you can get and uh, so keep uh, keep checking my uh, my channel so hopefully I see you guys next time and thanks for watching remember to like favorite share and comment okay peace out